It's been a week since Danilo Cavalcante's stunning escape from the Chester County Prison, and he is still on the run today. Take a look at this. This video showing him using his hands and feet to climb the walls was released just yesterday. He made his way through razor wire to break free. Chief investigative reporter Joe Holden is live in Pecopson Township where frustration is just boiling over there. Joe, good afternoon. Hi, John. Yeah, good afternoon to you. It has been a full week. Hard to believe the time has passed since Danilo Cavalcante made and completed a spider like climb up prison walls and literally climbed out of the facility in Chester County. As you've mentioned, frustration is mounting with homeowners and business owners. What is taking so long to capture this fugitive from justice? We're expecting some more information from officials this afternoon. They've called for a three o'clock news conference, but it is that video that is certainly stunning of this escape, at least the very origin of the escape. It shows him scaling the prison walls to get to the roof. Officials yesterday said it does not appear Cavalcante had assistance from any other inmates. We're told all posts in the prison were manned, including a watchtower. But an acting warden said for some reason the guard there in that watchtower did not see Danilo Cavalcante escaping, nor did he report it. That person is now on administrative leave. Meanwhile, Cavalcante remains on the loose with hundreds of law enforcement officers after him. A federal law enforcement source a short time ago told me there were no credible sightings overnight captured on video. The search grid or perimeter has shifted in an eastern direction, now including westernmost parts of Delaware County, touching the Chadsford area. Because of that, some schools in Kennett Square and Pocopson reopened since they're no longer in the middle of the search area. State Police yesterday said they were wearing Cavalcante down. As one of the law enforcement officers out there, it's hard enough for them uh, navigating in this t in this terrain in this uh, hot, humid weather. But imagine if you're being hunted; it adds a whole different level of stress. And we're back live. You see many of the state police troopers behind me. There's one on the other side of the camera, and there's one on the other side of a Copson Road at the same place as they were yesterday. Take it back a full week, even though the search area has migrated in an eastern direction. Many of the areas just looking at road closures still manned by state police troopers. One thing about the survival tactic in all of this is that state police shared with us yesterday that they learned information that Danilo Cavalcante was. Was familiar from his native country of Brazil with being out in rugged terrain and wooded areas. So, if that suggests anything, he's been able to endure for this period of time, and they're still looking at unsolved burglaries as a possibility as how he's been able to obtain some of what we've seen him in video carrying. That is the latest. We're live in Pacopson Township. This is Joe Holden, CBS News, Philadelphia. And, Joe, we know you're following all those details and developments very closely. Thanks so much for the update.